Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Euro Truck. Um, I finally get to make another one of these. I'm driving the uh, Kenworth. God, I don't know what it is. It's a Kenworth something. It's a pretty sweet truck. Um, it's my favorite truck of the game, although it's not technically a uh, Euro Truck truck. It's an add-on. So, what are we going to be doing today? Today we are carrying 13 tons of uh, forklifts. Yeah, time remaining 25 hours. Next rest stop seven hours. We're gonna make 27,730 euro. Um, so anyway, let's get underway and quit messing around. I couldn't really uh, do anything for the longest time now because my last computer was extremely. <laughs> just not Euro truck material, uh, not anything material, and this new one is actually pretty, it's pretty powerful, but, uh, it still has issues, I'm running everything right now on Ultra, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still getting a frame rate of, like, 30 frames a second, which kinda sucks, because what I have should get a lot more than that. What I'm running is a, well, it's a 3.8 quad core processor overclocked to 4.2, uh, 16 gigs of memory, uh, GTX 750, I think it is. We just went through this in one of the last videos. But uh, anyway, in case you didn't watch the last video, or whichever one we went through this in, that's what I'm running. And, uh,. Yeah, good times. Horn? Yep, we got a horn. Oh, I don't like waiting at red lights. 13 tons really is not... Uh, I mean, this truck really makes short work of 13 tons. Boy, you can kind of see the frame rates aren't the best. Uh, They'll probably improve once we get out of town. Oop. God, I'm so not used to this game. More and more stoplights. Traffic's not too terribly bad. There's our forklifts. There's our awesome truck. Alright, I better pay attention to the stoplight or everybody's gonna get mad at me. Alright, we're getting underway now. other lane. <coughs> ah, stop short again. I gotta play this game some more so I can get used to it. A little California stop here. not necessarily that I'm not used to driving on it, it's just that I'm not used to the uh, controls. I'm using a G27 steering wheel and the, uh, especially some of the shifter controls are kind of foreign to me. <coughs> um, I've got a button on the actual shifter itself. When I shift from first to sixth gear, then I have a button to uh, switch it from seventh to twelfth, so you go into sixth gear and then you have to hit the button and then your shifter back to first which is now seventh so that catches me off guard and downshifting the same thing you downshift to seventh and you have to hit the same button and then all the way back to sixth 
Let's go around these guys. If we can. I'm going to try to make this trip in a decent amount of time without damaging any cargo or my truck. Can it actually be? Well, we'll find out. Well, gosh, we're doing 70 miles an hour, so at least we're going to be making good time. I can't believe this car in front of me is pulling away and I'm doing 70, well, 68. Got such a Nancy horn on it, really. It's, I mean, come on, it's, it's a Kenworth. Listen to that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to remedy that, I guess, eventually. Get a little close to the guardrail there. But yeah, our frame rate's greatly improved. We're bouncing around, you know, between 50 and 60 frames now that we're out of the city. You know, we were down in the 20s and 30s when we were right in town, which is uh, kind of right on par with how this game's always been. It just, it, I guess it just takes so much power to render the, the town itself that it doesn't like it too much. Okay, just making sure that's my my Jake break and it's getting dark and it's only 12 p.m. so I think it's gonna get into okay there's my windshield wipers good I think it's gonna start raining here pretty quick if I had to guess and there it is yay rain to kill our frame rates <laughs> Oh, we're gonna make it in new, no time. I guess I could turn my, uh, whoops, which one is it? Oh, no, it's not that one. There they are. Headlights. Gosh, I'm not used to all the buttons. I've been playing iRacing so much lately that, uh, you know, I don't use all these buttons in there. I just use the, the shifter and the wheel and pedals, obviously, but not all these additional buttons. So it's kind of hard to go from something like that, you know, 200 miles an hour just turning in circles to, you know, an old Kenworth on uh, public highways. <coughs> 76 miles an hour. Oh, we're going uphill. We're slowing down now. I'm a dangerous, dangerous Euro driver, I guess. We don't care about the about the weather. We don't care about the truck. We don't care about life and limb. We've got a, a load to deliver, and it has to be delivered on time. Whoop. We do care about crazy corners, though. <laughs> Just wanted to stop raining. I think I'm gonna do all this in one video. Um, normally, uh, a run like this, you know, it, I don't remember what it was. It was like 500 miles almost. Whoa! Normally we'd do a run like this in maybe two videos, but that's just because my last computer really, really sucked, and uh, 
trying to render it all into one was next to impossible. It'd take 16 days to do it, and this is a little bit different, though, so... We might give it a go. One video. One run, one load, one video. Be happy with it. I guess I should probably pay attention to shifting. I do believe that I need to get some fuel eventually. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to stay on this road. God, here in California, I'd have had like 26 tickets already by now. Oh. <coughs> I need to pay attention to my GPS. Yay! That was frame rate death right there for some weird reason. Sorry, buddy. Wait, I want to go that way. What am I doing? Thank you, partner. Try not to hit your car with my trailer now. Oh, we hit his car. He waited for me and we hit his car. What a jerk. I'm talking about me, not him. don't much like these little back roads, but I guess it's just all part of the the trucker life, I guess. As if I'm living in the trucker life in my nice room here on my nice computer. I guess it's as close as you're going to get. Not actually driving a truck, that is. Oh, where am I going? Find the right gear. Oh, hey. Did you see that guy turn right in front of me? <laughs> I'm also going to be making some more uh, LCPDFR videos. I've only made a few of those, and that's because uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 just blows. Um, as far as it's ridiculous, the kind of resources it takes to run that game. And, uh, well, again, my last computer was just not up to the task. Whereas this one runs it a lot better. But then, being what it is, Grand Theft Auto 4 with the, uh, any kind of mods on it with LCPDFR, and I use ELS, uh, the native trainer, a couple extra cars on there. It's just super unstable. And,. You know, you never really know, I mean, what forests say, it's like a box of chocolates. You never really know what you're going to get. Um, you might run it for six hours and nothing, or then again, it might crash every ten minutes. You just never really know. Oh, I don't like being stuck behind these people, but I don't want to risk uh, wrecking anything, so looks like we're going to be... Is that a freeway we're coming up to? It looks like it might be. We'll be able to get around him there. See? It's all about patience. We'll do 34 miles an hour here, and we'll be back up to 70, maybe 80 even once we get on that freeway. We still got 300 miles to go. 
and I think I'm gonna actually I might just stop at the next gas place and get some rest and uh, some fuel God, I thought that guy was going to go right in front of me. Oh, come on, Kenworth. You're like five or seven or twelve hundred horsepower. I don't remember. So I really, really like this game. I don't quite understand what's so fun about, you know, running around and hauling trailers around in a big truck at very low speeds. Uh, but it just seems fun. Maybe it's, you know, every little kid's dream is to drive one of these trucks, I think, at one point or another. And, um... Not even if you're boys, you know. I mean, it, it's it's kind of funny because uh, my daughter, when I mean, we don't have anything like this come through the neighborhood, obviously. But like when the garbage truck, oh my God, it's it's she is just glued to the window. She loves the garbage truck, and I I mean, I guess technically, I love the garbage truck too because they well they take away the garbage, and uh, but yeah, just likes big trucks and uh, I don't know hopefully she's not gonna drive one oh we got some windmills up there god I'd have kept my speed up if I'd have known this turn was like I thought it was gonna be sharper <coughs> excuse me all right buddy Look alive, I'm going around. Yeah! Back up to 70 miles an hour. Oh, shouldn't have shifted. We'll just hold it in this gear for a little while. Oh, I gotta stop now. Darn it. some fuel. You know, it's 331. I'd hate to get to sleep now, but I see on the little gauge there that I must be getting a bit tired. Just a wee bit sleepy. So, uh, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to just get it out of the way. <coughs> and here's how we're gonna do it. sleeping. It's 12 a.m. now. At least it's not raining anymore, though. Oh, and we don't even have to wait for our air pressure to build. We must not have slept that long. So let's get back out on the road. lights in my mirror. I hope nobody's there. Two hundred and fifty-four miles to go. 
54 miles an hour. 55 miles an hour. 56 miles. Okay, I'm gonna, that's ridiculous. What is this? Looks like a tunnel. Don't I have any, like... Oh, my high beams are on. Piss the people off in front of me. Sixty-five miles, two hundred and forty-two miles. All right, let's drive. The sun's going to be coming up here in about three hours. Uh, we've got looks like we're ETA six hours and twelve minutes. Of course, that's not real time. Six hours and twelve minutes. That's Euro truck time, and Euro truck time goes about uh, two hundred times faster than real people time. At least all we've done is kind of scrape up against that car about a hundred miles ago, and that's not going to be too bad. Probably won't even give any damage on the load when I deliver it. Hopefully not. It's just a little, a little bump, a little, a little scrape. Gave it a little character. Yeah, I probably ripped the front end right off that car. Actually, at least in real life, I probably would have. See, it's 1.18 a.m., 1.19 a.m. already. See, uh, time is kind of ridiculous. I guess it's good it's not real time, though, because I'm not sure I'd be able to sit here in front of a computer for five hours and 28 more minutes driving. Oh, man. Wouldn't that suck? Nah, it probably would, really wouldn't suck. It'd probably be actually kind of fun, but I'm not sure I got what it takes. The shift, shall we? 80 miles an hour. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on? Ah, it tried to trick me there. Oh, I'm still going a bit too fat. Oh, no. Holy hell. I like how they trick you like that. I guess it's not really tricky. If I was doing a speed limit, that wouldn't have been any problem. Here you go, buddy. <sighs> Where's my nice open straight road at when you need it? The good thing is there's only 182 miles left to go. That'll go by pretty quick. I do not believe we're going to be sleeping or fueling up or anything in the next 178 more miles. So it ought to be smooth sailing direct to our destination. In another couple hours, the sun will be up. So we're going to see some of the pretty uh, European uh, scenery. like driving in the dark simply because of the whole scenery thing. I mean, you don't really get to see anything but the road a hundred feet in front of you. That kind of sucks, but yeah, I guess it is what it is. Probably should have gotten a cup of coffee at that last Starbucks we passed a while back.
to slow down. I want to speed up and get to my destination. I don't want to hit that guard. This truck is a little... It's a little weird, and I, I'm actually going to be buying soon, when I get some money, uh, other trucks, and, you know, I think I'm just going to buy them all. Oh, no. Jeez. <laughs> um, and I, I guess then I can show you the, the difference. But, uh, this truck is weird. You want the line. You see how I have my little hood emblem, or the little... Right in the center of the hood, right at the line. That's right about where you want it to keep you kind of even in your lane. See, you'd think you'd want to be way over here. No, that, that puts your truck and trailer so, so close to the guardrail. And it's a good way to wake up, though, hitting the guardrail when you, uh... You know, you're getting really tired. You just drive close to the guardrail, and... You know, you got your volume on your seven channel surround sound cranked all the way up and uh, yeah, that, that jolt will wake you up real fast. All right. eighth gear it looks like we can sweet in fact I'm gonna shift to ninth I don't see any headlights back there Fifteen miles to go, guys. Sun's going to be peeking over the horizon here in, oh, I'm not sure, maybe another hour. driving for in real time. Oh, only like 20 minutes. Well, I guess that means this is going to be a long video. A 20 minute long video that's going to be uh, pretty crazy for uh, a group like YouTube, which I guess statistically has a, a fairly short attention span. I, I, I guess I could have made like 21 minute long videos and that would have been pretty sweet, huh? No, no, that wouldn't have been sweet. the outside of our truck while we drive. Okay, my turn's coming up, so I gotta pay attention. Turn that blinker off, it's irritating. say 85 miles to go 327 in the morning yeah we're gonna see the Sun in probably about a half hour or so sunrise looks pretty nice on ultra uh, settings at least for me since I'm so used to running on the lowest settings available on the last computer it's kind of nice having one now that I can run on ultra the you know the detail of the surroundings is amazingly better truck 3.30 in the morning time to wake up gosh trying to get speed is terrible Boy, oh we got a half a tank of fuel oh we got we got 69 miles we ought to be okay
I am terrible at looking at the GPS. I just don't, you know, it's... Uh, we can go take this turn a little faster than this. Seven miles to go. One hour, twenty-nine minutes, four o four a.m. If you look up in the mirror, the uh, virtual mirror on the right-hand side there, you can see it looks like maybe behind us the sun's going to be rising. Um, I use that virtual mirror simply because of the. Um, I don't like looking all the way over there, and it just it just screws me up. And I've even got a button set to look see really quick, but. Uh, I just, I like the virtual mirror, and maybe I'll, let's see if we can, yeah, there we can get rid of it. I guess it's kind of nice to, oh, you see, right over there, the sun's coming up. Alright, I need to pay attention. we got 40 miles to go. Ooh, I'm going into another lane there. Okay, see? I blame all that on the virtual mirror not being there for me when I need it. Yeah, that's a legitimate excuse, huh? Sorry, buddy. I gotta get there before you. Maybe if you knew how to drive a truck, you'd make more money. Have an awesome one like me. Grab another gear. Hey, I don't want to go down there. See how the local county mountie likes me rolling into town at 77 miles an hour. I don't know what the speed limit is, and I couldn't convert it in my head anyway. Uh, it's all kilometers uh, in here. I tried running with my speedometer reading kilometers, but it just didn't, it wasn't very pretty. into town the roads are, seem to get windy in every town you pull into back off the hammer a little bit I guess these guys want to back off the hammer a lot a bit don't they Now I'm going to try something, I, I've done it before, but I generally don't do it, and that's actually parking the trailer where it goes. Normally when you pull up to where the trailer, well, you know what, I'll just show you, just watch. Just keep watching, and if you're still here watching, then uh, you'll see what I'm going to do. that way. So much for paying attention, stupid. Okay, normally what happens is you pull up to where about your tra- Ooh, look, they got an excavator. Maybe we'll take that one. See, it says press enter to skip parking. I'm going to park. 
just because I want to park. This might not turn out very pretty, but we're going to give it a shot. We'll uh, warn any people that we're backing a big trailer up. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm looking for the gate. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See? That virtual mirror really does help. Yeah, we just, we're blocking highways, because that's what we do in Euroland. No, that's not what they do in Euroland. I'm just being a smart butt. Oh, I stalled my engine. What an amateur. scraping against the gate. Damage in my truck. That sucks. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh. I think like everybody that was watching probably left by now. I promise you guys I'll get it. Oh, I can Oh, oh. Look at that. helps when you can uh, look out your window. Ah. Look at that, I feel like a professional trucker now. Even though I probably just embarrassed all the real professional truckers out there. <laughs> Look at that. We parked our trailer crooked, but we don't care. We're going to say good and see what we get. Excellent. Uh, no damage. Awesome. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we will see you next time where we might be... Here, let's go back over here. Uh... Maybe next time we'll take that excavator right there. Or maybe the pipes, or maybe... I don't know. I don't really know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. It's been a, a hoot, 
and uh, we'll see you next time.